The three boys, all younger than 10, have been missing since Thanksgiving. Dozens of volunteers searched around U.S. 20 in Williams County today. That's where News Channel 15's Adam Widener spent the day, and he joins us now from Studio 15 with the latest. Well, Mark and Heather, although police say that the outlook for finding the three boys alive is bleak, that's not slowing search teams. It was the weather that made the toughest search day yet. As the snow came down off of U.S. 20 in Williams County, search teams went out once again, desperately looking for three missing Michigan boys. This is the worst day for me. It's, it's cold. There's a lot of swamp on both sides of the road. It's kind of, a, kind of an obstacle for us, but we're going around both sides to get as much of it covered as we can. Last week, the boy's father, John Skelton, said he left them with an acquaintance before his failed suicide attempt. He said she was supposed to return them to their home in Marincy, Michigan, Friday. The kids never made it, and police don't think that acquaintance ever actually existed. The FBI arrested Skelton yesterday on three counts of parental kidnapping. He fought his return to Michigan in a Toledo courtroom this morning. That matter, along with most everything else in the case, still isn't resolved. As far as the searching goes, we continue to be out and active in multiple areas throughout southwest Lenawee County northeast Williams County and uh, northwest Fulton County. Although police say the outlook is negative and Skelton isn't saying much to investigators, search teams still cling to hope in a situation that seems hopeless. We all got hope, so we just hope we find them. So they're saying one thing, but, you know, we, we still got to have a little faith. Now, Skelton's bond was set at $3 million. His next hearing will be December 14th. Teams will continue to search for the three missing boys starting tomorrow morning. Live in News Control, Adam Widener, News Channel 15.